I think it's time to move on to deeper segments and really understand a special method of trading and one of the most popular methods of trading which is also called technical analysis or TA. So now that you are aware of various methods of trading cryptocurrencies and we've also seen time frames, what different instruments that are available to us as a trader, I think it's time to move on to deeper segments and really understand a special method of trading and one of the most popular methods of trading which is also called technical analysis or TA. So technical analysis is a means of examining and predicting price movements in the financial markets by using historical prices and market statistics. It is based on the idea that if a trader can identify previous market patterns, then they can form a fairly accurate prediction of future price trajectories as well. As a trader, technical analysis is the study of time series data to spot repetitive patterns that were shown earlier by the market. You can make profits if certain patterns repeat again. The underlying idea here is that history repeats itself most of the time. I know that might sound very childish, but it does repeat. There is even a term for that too, fractals, but we will not digress ourselves to know that right now. There are different types of technical analysis that you can practice and the whole world is practicing various forms of technical analysis. There is no certain way of performing TA. Everyone has their own mix. It's like a recipe. Some of them are also indicators based, which we will discuss in the upcoming sections. There are also candlestick patterns. Different forms of candlesticks can be formed um, at a particular part of the chart or even a trend, which gives you an idea of what can be expected going into the future. So the whole idea is that technical analysis it itself is a, is a science and which contains several subparts, which based on, upon a trader's personal preference, can be used in different ways to trade cryptocurrencies. Now, when we talk about the representation of technical analysis data on the screen, there are several ways to select what kind of candlesticks that you would want to select. The most common ways to see and represent candlesticks on uh, the, the chart are Japanese candlesticks, bar chart, line graph, Heikenashi, and many other ways. Whatever is most comfortable to you as a trader, you should represent your chart screen uh, in those candlestick uh, forms and select whatever suits you the best, whatever makes you comfortable, whatever you can see, all the represented data that we want every stick to show us. That's how we would like our representation uh, to be. So let's take a look at the screen uh, and, and see what I'm, what I'm trying to show you here in terms of different types of candlestick. So we're back on the uh, trading chart on the CoinDCX platform, trying to figure out what, how you can represent the chart. So for example, I'm using right now Japanese candlesticks uh, and, uh, and these are just called candles. Uh, this is the best, best and <clears throat> most comfortable way that I find for my trades. But let's just look out what we talked about as bars. Bars will show you uh, data like this. If you want to see Heikenashi, it'll show you something like that. If you want to show line chart, line charts basically show you only the closing price. So you got to remember all of the charts show you high, uh, low, close and open. But whereas the line chart would show you only the close price of that day. And like I said, this one is my favorite. So let's get into this and, uh, you know, see it in more detail what each of these candles is representing. So let's find that out. So let's just check out the chart for today and pick up any candle. So let's just zoom into that candle and let's just select this one. So now you can see that we have selected a candle that we would like to know more about. It has four types of data represented in it. That is making the whole candle itself. The candle has a body, which means the whole shaded area. And it has two lines above it and below it. One line below it and one line above it. The lines that are above it and below it are usually called wicks. So these, this part of the whole candle is the wick. 
and the colored shaded region that is filled is the body. Whenever you see a chart and whenever, you, uh, whenever you're selecting the candle that you're trying to read, where did it open, where did it close, how high did it go and how low did it go. That is just about one candle. I'm not talking about what pattern that candle is making in a time duration or a time series and neither are we trying to predict a trend. We are just trying to seek information what the candle needs to deliver to us. The candle says that the candle opened at this, uh, <clears throat> if we are looking at this candle pattern and let's see what data we have. We have that it opened at 2,57,000. It went on a high of 2,65,000. It had a low of 2,56,000 and it closed finally at 2,64,000. Why it is <clears throat> in green is because it opened at a lower price and closed at a higher price. That is pretty much it. And the ones that are red are opened at a higher price and closed at a lower price. The complete body, which means the end to end, where even including the wicks is basically called the range that it went to that defines the range that the candle went through. And the body means the primitive area where it opened and then it closed. So as you can see that it closed here and then at the same uh, place it opened on the next stick. All right. And when this stick uh, was closed, it was closed here. And hence this stick was opened here. It will have the same opening and so the closing would be the same as the opening here and so on and so forth. So whatever suits you the best, you can fix out what kind of, uh, uh, if you want uh, a bar chart where you can see that this uh, position shows you the open and they're like piped in together. It, it just shows you that the closing price of this candle is was the opening price of this candle. So it's like a pipe and I, I don't feel comfortable with these. I feel the best uh, to follow is, is either candles uh, and sometimes if I just want to see how, how markets are closing over time. I just see the line chart, it's the simplest. But yeah, best practices, I just use these Japanese candlesticks, the one of the favorite ones that, that exist for me out there. So yeah, as we saw, uh, what type of uh, candles that you can choose upon your preference of trading, whatever suits your eyes, what are you comfortable with, what you can see on the right side as well, that there is something known as indicators. You can select all the indicators that exist, there are thousands of indicators in general but it depends on what kind of strategy and like what you're comfortable with what makes more sense to you we'll talk about a lot of indicators in the upcoming section but at this moment in time i was just showing you that you can all the indicators that we would use such as let's say macd if you would have heard about that then as soon as you select that it will come and show you on the chart itself We'll, we'll talk more about indicators, uh, obviously, in the upcoming sections. We will discuss the indicators and the trading use of the same in the later sections of the program. But first, let us understand the pros and cons of using technical analysis. Technical analysis has several benefits. The most important one of them is that it is logical and based on data and patterns emerging from the markets, which helps you to be less emotional while taking the trade. What you see on your screen is what you can trade if you have a logical system in place. The next benefit I would say is that it is applicable to crypto as well. Starting from a few thousand rupees as trading capital to even people who have millions and billions as big institutional funds use technical analysis and as I said it can be applied to all of them. The next benefit is that it has defined rules which means that most of the time you define a rule uh, and it is very easy to replicate it over and over and again and again in the future circumstances which means that there is no newness every time that you are applying the technical analysis. It is not that every time you would use different different uh, systems. I think every trader finds out their own comfort with technical analysis, finds the best things that work for them, how they can interpret uh, you know, the historical data. It's just, it's like a science, like data scientists have different algorithms and ways to identify patterns uh, for, you know, artificial intelligence or machine learning. Same way, technical analysts are also trying to find repetitive patterns, fractals, uh, understanding what kind of indicators that they can apply uh, their trade 
too. You know, the strategy, they can formulate a great strategy using all this. But again, this is a recipe you want to create your own. One of your indicators can be applied to several cryptocurrencies and even to different trading positions. Also, there is the idea that the price is considered to be a leading indicator, which means the price will usually encompass an effect which may or may not yet be public. What it means is that technical analysis uh, is in a way, and most of we believe this, is a lagging indicator. So you can't just trust on current uh, uh, situations. What has already uh, been shown in technical analysis, what you can interpret from it, most of the times the price has already synced in. The market has already accepted and the price movement has already happened. So technical analysis can make you trade better or predict something which can happen in the future. But most of the times, please remember this, that most of these indicators and everything are lagging indicators. All right. I'm not talking about just patterns, but indicators, uh, you know, can be lagging and you need to make sure about that. Now that we have discussed certain pros of technical analysis. So let's just look at some cons um, of the same as well. First, it can be implemented subjectively by certain traders. For example, all the indicators are logically driven and have mathematical formulas to back them up. Many people inculcate those same indicators in different ways into crypto trading systems or any other traditional trading systems, which may lead to subjectively uh, and at the same uh, and as the same indicator can show different signals to different people as per their trading systems. So like I told you before that it is not about, you know, understanding that technical analysis will always, you know, uh, hit the winning price for you. What works for you? The same kind of solutions, all the technical analysis obviously will have mathematical formulas backing them up. So they are very uh, mathematically, you know, sound. But how these are used in different trading systems, like I can have a different psyche uh, towards trading than you. And if I am using my indicators, <clears throat> my charts might look different with the same indicators than yours. So please make sure that this is a, it's not like that you can just see a chart from someone, your chart uh, will look the same of whatever trading system that you have built for yourself, whatever, uh, you know, methods that you have defined and whatever you, you know, you bring out from the chart. So technical analysis is again, just basis of you to, you know, formulate your uh, strategies on and it can work differently for all different traders. Technical analysis has been considered to be fairly accurate. What that means is that there is still low probability of events where technical analysis, the patterns that it shows may not repeat uh, or they may not be correct. As I said, it's lagging indicators. If you if you see that there is, you know, probably a moving average showing you that there is a, a, a people are showing that there is, you know, the moving averages are closing higher in a 20 week period, then you would you would might want to, uh, you know, take a buying position because you think that now it's going to go up. Maybe it doesn't work out. Maybe the price goes down and the 20 uh, week moving average doesn't really make no sense. So all of these things, again, uh, are lagging indicators. Price has already kind of kicked in. We'll talk more about this in trend analysis. There is also a fear of noise, uh, which means that there can be false breakout signals or breakouts on the charts that you can see and people may end up losing uh, their money because, you know, because they followed that. So you have to be very careful following technical analysis. And in the beginning, we'll start understanding these, uh, you know, indicators and candlestick patterns. For more details, we are also linking in the, uh, you know, articles in depth, which uh, tell you more about whatever candlestick patterns that there are and what, more about the indicators on the DCX Learn platform itself. There are a lot of uh, educational resources in terms of textual content that you can read and you can go through all these articles to keep on reading. And as soon as you get into this vibe, you'll obviously consume information much faster and things will start making sense to you when you read them. The last point that I want to make about technical analysis is that there is still a dependency on other factors. While technical analysis in itself is sufficient and complete as a trading method, there is still a level of dependency on other factors like volume. So if the volume is really low on an exchange, then there is sometimes a possibility that the candlestick patterns and structures may not be visible properly or they not be charted properly on, uh, on, the, on the platform. And maybe you are not able to analyze the data properly. And there could also be a situation where there is 
you know unexpected news or you know of a bad event that has happened which might spoil the technical analysis which otherwise would have worked for you properly so let's go in ahead and see how we can see trends and how we can analyze trends for cryptocurrencies